Hi, I'm Kristen Marshall. I am a residence director at the University of San Francisco. I am the RD of Lone Mountain, um, which is houses primarily second year students, um, 19 and 20 years old. Um, I also supervise Pacific Wing, which is a little offshoot of the main building um, that houses the same population. Um, within Lone Mountain, there is the Erasmus Living Learning Community, um, which uh, lets students become more involved in um, human sex trafficking activism, um, both in the Bay Area and um, overseas during immersion trips. I am originally from North Carolina. Um, I attended the University of North Carolina at Asheville for my undergrad um, for journalism, and um, then I went to Pennsylvania um, and got my graduate degree in student affairs and higher education in um, at the Indiana University of Pennsylvania. Um, I did my graduate work at Clarion University of Pennsylvania. When I was applying to RD positions, um, I was definitely attracted initially to the school because it is in San Francisco, but the more I researched um, the institution, the more it became clear how much my own values aligned with the institutions and the departments. Something about an entire community working towards the greater good for not only a campus community, but also the greater San Francisco community um, and the greater, greater global community was super appealing. And social justice work, uh, I've been doing it a lot in Pennsylvania, um, but it just felt very right to be doing it in San Francisco. I was attracted to the fact that it's a you know small urban campus, which I appreciate. And yeah, um, those values were a lot of the Jesuit mission and values um, really aligned with mine, uh, with my own personal student affairs values. So. I'd have to say that one of the best parts of this job uh, is getting to live in San Francisco. It's, it's a phenomenal city. It, it has everything I think anybody could ever really want or need uh, for kind of their, their home. I felt at home probably within days of moving here and I had moved across country from a rural environment. So for me this is almost a complete opposite of what I had grown up in, what I'd been used to my entire life. San Francisco's home now. Um, yeah, definitely the best part about, about moving out here. Um, my favorite place out of many, I, I really, really, really like the farmer's market that happens every Saturday at the Ferry Plaza. The students here at USF are fairly savvy in the ways of social justice um, and are super, for me, I think when I got here after having worked with a lot of students on, in a rural setting in Pennsylvania, was startled by how aware um, our students are here, how motivated they are to be part of a change uh, for the better, and you know, the student staff we have here at RAs are Whenever, you know, my first training with them, it was just, they blew me away. There's stuff that I wasn't even learning until I got to grad school that they're already fairly familiar with when it comes to identity and social justice and um, being aware of what their presence means in any given group. Uh, I think, you know, I often hear a lot of them talking about what they'll do out in the community and the work, the good work that they do out in the community and the good work they do on campus. Very driven very intelligent um, but and I also think I mean it's worth mentioning the kind of misconception that we're a, a private institution so uh, we have a lot of like wealthier students here and I think it's it's definitely worth mentioning that um, we have a fairly large you know first generation college student population uh, and to get to see them come to the city um, and get to experience this sort of college experience, uh, which is not, I don't think, aligns with a lot of other people's college experiences because it's in San Francisco, because it's urban. Uh, I think it's just really great to see them move through their years here. The professional opportunities that I'm given as an RD at USF are pretty great. I'm coming from a campus where I didn't um, really get those opportunities, so to come here and get professional development funds, to be encouraged and supported as I seek out um, new ways to kind of educate myself and, and develop professionally is, is really great. I'm, I never 
feel like I'm being held back by a supervisor. Uh, my supervisors are constantly pushing for me to, to strive higher, I guess. Um, this will be the first, this upcoming conference is the first time I've, I'll be presenting at a national conference. And if you'd asked me if I was going to do that a year ago, I would have laughed. So, you know, but I think my supervisors and my colleagues are really supportive. And I think that's the best part about working here is that I found myself within a really supportive, brilliant group of professionals who seek to better themselves and work to empower and encourage those around them to better themselves. So as you continue your job search, I think the most important thing for me during the whole process um, is definitely to consider the fit of the institution. Don't settle for something that doesn't fit you. Don't, go, don't end up in a school that is a bad fit. For me, the search took six months. I applied to over 70 institutions across the country. And when I found USF, and when they found me, it was right. And I knew. So that would be my, my biggest piece of advice is the, work, the wait is worth it uh, when you find the right institution for you.